one of the main tasks for transforming source data to CDIS format is to specify the transformation in a transformation model. In this example, I have three different transformation models, one for medical history, one for ConMed and ConMed medication, and an Atom dataset for ConMed. In order to edit this, you would select on the data model and then click on the Edit Model button. In this case, it will show you all the variables that are in the source data and what you need to do in order to transform it into a destination standard CDIS format. In this example, uh, the source variables over here are not in CDIS standards yet and their associated variables will help you understand what the meaning of the variable is. So for example, if I were to select on this investigator site and uh, notice that the other examples, the variable name, label, and format were applied or changed. So now I need to search for a CDIS variable for site. To do that, I go down here to the recommendations here, and then, for example, I search for sites and click on the search button. What it will do is it'll search through all the standard uh, recommendations from the guidelines and present to you an example variable for site. If I were to click on apply, note that that information is then applied to the variable here. Um, so now we have an example where this investigator site is changed to site ID, which is the CDIS variable for that um, with the associated label. So once you have this defined for all the variables that you need, you can also export that into an Excel to share with the group. When you click on export, it will take the data model and export it to an Excel spreadsheet, um, whatever location you prefer. When you click on OK, an Excel spreadsheet will be generated with all the same information that you've specified. So for example, if I were to go here and the variable sites has the length of 100 by default, I can go here and change that to, for example, let's say 40. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and save this Excel spreadsheet. So in this case, if I were to go back and then re-import that Excel spreadsheet by clicking on the Import button, um, you could point to the exact same uh, Excel spreadsheet that we exported and click on OK. What that would do is it will import all the information that we've changed. It could be things that you sent out to the entire group for review and the import was successful. So as you can see here, the original length of sites was changed to 40 as was done in the spreadsheet. So this is a good way of um, you know, editing and you can edit directly within the system as well um, that it will retain the, uh, the an audit trail in fact. So let's say for example you want to change that to 30 and you can apply and that would change the uh, length to 30. However, if you want to have a larger group review you can send it in the format of an Excel. So once you finish editing all your specification, you can then have SAS code generated um, through the save button, save code button, that will then um, generate the code to perform your transformation. So in this example, I would be able to name that new program anything that I wish. For example, how about um, new you know, transformation for MH as an example. So if I click on that, it would actually generate the SAS code with the specification that I uh, detailed earlier and perform the transformation without having me um, write my own transformation code. So here's the SAS program. So if I look closely here, it defines all the right libraries and the new data destination data set. It reads in the old data set. And these are some of the variables that um, I've changed including some of the um, date format in standard CDIS format.
and if I go down a little bit further, I'll scroll down, you'll see that the site variable was originally INV site was changed to the CETA standard of site ID. So this is an example where you can actually generate code and perform your transformation to the specification of CDISC without a lot of effort in terms of finding the variables and also generating the code.